Well, I mean, I think there's certainly some politics behind it. I mean, Boris has obviously been under pressure from a significant section of his party to make this move, but I don't think that's what, what lays behind it. I think, I think, frankly, this is now the right time to the, lift the restrictions, and I, I'd turn it back and say if, we, if we're not going to lift the restrictions now, then when are we going to? I mean, we just heard the, the, the statistics there. We all saw the very dire predictions that were made by the experts or supposed experts before Christmas about the impact Omicron was going to have. We were told it was the greatest threat of the pandemic to date. And it, it simply wasn't. And I think, I think, frankly, there is obviously going to be some, some debate over the next few days. And we've got the press conference this evening. It'll be interesting to see what the experts say at that. But I think, frankly, Boris didn't have any, any choice because I think that the, those who were warning... Um, about the impact of, of Omicron and warning about the impact of, of COVID over, over, over the winter and at the start of this year have now been so discredited mm. that it would have been very, very difficult to see on what evidence base, given the actual figures we're seeing, he obviously can't rely on projections anymore, he can't rely on predi pr predictions anymore. It's very difficult to see what other decision he, he could have taken, to be honest.